Okay you guys, so uh, here's the basic uh, uh, layout of the parts that came in the kit with the uh, Blair Line Yard Cafe. Uh, I see right off the bat that it's a um, slat and groove type of construction with these little uh, uh, like slats that fill into place like a jigsaw puzzle almost. Uh, it's laser cut wood. Uh, some of the details, wow, uh, some of the details are on paper thin wood and are very very thin such as these uh, these are the bars that would go on the windows and those believe it or not are Venetian blinds cut into uh, thin very very thin wood uh, you can see it's been laser cut and kind of burnt a little bit um, this is something I will have to read the instructions on because I know a lot well, just about most of these uh, craftsman type kits uh, will warp when you try to paint them uh, so I'm gonna read the instructions and then I'm going to uh, see where to go from there I'll probably have to primer these uh, first but uh, you can see that for the most part uh, they kind of fall out of there pretty easy this probably being the inside wall imagine it goes right there but you can see it just kind of fits into place and uh, it looks like it would probably fit right about here with the two grooves lining up and the door here lining up with this little gap in the wall there so when I stick it in the hole it looks like okay I gotta see what I'm doing first it looks like that so it'll be fairly easy to put it together uh, the hard part will be the painting and uh, if I read over real quickly on the painting to avoid having wood warp we strongly recommend that you paint or prime all parts with an airbrush or any inexpensive spray paint from a can huh okay oh and on the back here there is actually diagrams showing you what color uh, such as uh, B2 should be painted aluminum and uh, S10 should be painted red you know, etc etc uh, but yeah the details are well you can see them for yourself it may feel a little overwhelming uh, at first uh, I know my first Craftsman kit was uh, because they're 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 pretty intricate in detail and if you mess up a part uh, such as a wall or uh, you know a, a detailed part like uh, these little wood strips that you have to break out of there without breaking them in half they're already pre-cut but uh, some of this stuff will not come out as easy as this wall did it just kind of fell out of there uh, but uh, I'm going to uh, read up on the painting of all of these parts and pieces. These are uh, window frames and doors and whatnot. There's a couple of uh, fans and grates for a uh, exhaust fan for the roof of the building. Uh, I'm going to read up on this and uh, I will get back to you with the uh, construction of the building. and. Um, pretty much show you not from start to finish on this one because it's going to take so long with the drying process and and all that that uh, I'm just going to uh, primer all of these pieces I will then uh, paint them their respective colors and when you come back you will see the pieces removed from the pegs like so some of them are pretty easy to get out of there and uh, they'll all be painted, uh, primed, painted, and ready to start uh, 
sticking on the on the uh, bottom base which the bottom base for this one it's wood but it's already got the uh, peg holes for everything to line up and uh, it's already got the sidewalk around the edges I'm not much for wood sidewalks I'm not sure how the wood grain is going to take with the gray paint to make it uh, you know look like concrete but you know uh, it is what it is when we come back all these will be primed and painted and I will start putting them together. See you guys. Okay, real quick, you guys. I just uh, took the prefab walls out and stuck it together real quick. And, uh, you know, just so you could get an idea of just how big this structure is when it's going to be done. That's a regular size Elmer's glue bottle. Uh, I have big hands, but that's it's gonna be a pretty small building uh, just a little yard cafe for the the uh, railroad workers to come and get a bowl of hot soup on a, a cold morning while they're uh, switching cars in the yard behind this building uh, I like the way the building looked in the magazine I like the colors so I'm going to uh, go ahead and do the same colors uh, but yeah, it's just a neat little cafe. It's going to have a lighted interior and and uh, details on the inside with some figures and whatnot. So I uh, just thought I'd give you a quick uh, view of how it looks when it's put together. Uh, it was pretty simple to put it together. Just, you know, quickly take it apart again. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. The hardest part, like I said, is going to be the painting part uh, without uh, getting any warpage on the wood. So uh, we'll see you guys. Um, like I said, when you when we come back, these will all be primed and painted, and then we'll just start putting it together. So yeah. So as you can see, uh, I have um, all but one of the stools done. Uh, what you had to do with these uh, kits is to paint the little uh, wooden stud which came on a stick uh, shiny silver and then paint the little uh, circle round uh, the metal or the uh, the fat circle you had to paint it silver and the top circle you paint red uh, I've mixed a dark red color because the sign on the uh, outside of the cafe is going to be bright red. I don't want to use both colors uh, in two different locations. Uh, that's just something I do. I, I take a little bit of extra time to to create a new color so I don't have two of the same color on the same building for different things. Uh, the uh, stools themselves are uh, covered with a red leather on the top of the stool and uh, there's no sense in having a uh, dark red leather stool and also having a uh, uh, sign that's the same color. If the sign is not leather, uh, and it's like plastic or metal or wood, uh, then I don't want it to be the same color. Uh, what you can see here was there was a, uh, a blank section over here in the corner. What I went ahead and did is I took some of those old wooden benches like I put on the uh, the, what was it called, the car barge or the uh, the car ferry I had some of those left over so I painted them silver and red and put them in there and I uh, also built move this out of the way a little table 
that I can go ahead and put in there. Which I... It's just stainless steel looking. It's uh, uh, just a piece of styrene. I rounded off the edges on the outside and uh, glued a wooden um, stick to the inside from a little piece of uh, basswood that I had and uh, spray painted all of the silver is Krylon matte aluminum and this kit actually uh, recommends that you uh, use spray paint or an airbrush uh, it actually says to not use brushes with acrylic paint um, I'm not sure why really I'm going to put this in place and uh, it actually says to use a wood glue or it says a yellow glue, whatever yellow glue is um, I'm assuming it's the uh, wood glue, I have uh, Gorilla Wood Glue which is kind of a yellow color but it's pretty strong I used uh, regular Elmer's glue washable school glue it, it'll work also the uh, super glue does work on this wood even after it's painted um, the uh, countertops I had to pre-spray shiny silver, the uh, Krylon aluminum color and uh, this stuff is its really really thin you can see how thin this wood is, this is basswood it's not paper it's like balsa wood, it's so thin it's paper thin you have to be very careful when uh, cutting it out of the grooves and when you're uh, painting it. I imagine the uh, warpage is why they tell you to be careful on the painting part. Uh, this counter will go here. I'm not going to glue it in place yet because can see that it looks kind of good so inside I put a little stove and counter with sink I have a little uh, refrigerator here I don't know if you can see that real good the refrigerator is made out of two Lego fat one pieces I took this out of a, um, a house that I built in this little house I built this uh, a while ago and uh, has a removable roof with an interior. I showed it in one of my previous videos. Uh, this is all built out of uh, strip wood and basswood. It has a uh, little screen door porch on the back. But uh, yeah, this is all built out of balsa wood and stuff. And uh, you can see the bottom. But uh, I didn't need this house, so I took the kitchen stuff out of it. And I'm going to put the fridge in there. You can see there's a little stove in there. And then the sink. The sink does have uh, a little faucet with handles. I have some uh, people I'm going to stick in there that I've been getting together. <coughs> Uh, when I first got this kit I was thinking all these little pieces of wood that you have to stamp out of here it's kind of scary at first um, I've actually put together kits before but uh, this one's slightly different uh, if you do mess up it can you know have a great impact on the finished product but, uh, for now, I'm, I'm doing pretty good on it. I have the front wall painted, and uh, the side wall that goes over here. And the overhang for the 
front area. But uh, it's coming along. See you guys.